Hi, I'm Matt Garrett and this is a quick tutorial video for blogtactics.com. What we're going to look at in this video is RSS feeds and how you can use RSS feeds to get great ideas for content and to get good quality backlinks and even grab some fresh visitors and traffic for your site. Okay, an RSS feed basically allows people to get your content or at least a notification that you've posted something new via a feed reader so they don't actually have to come back and visit your blog. This does mean that you can use it to be notified when there's a new post on an authority blog in your market. Now, a feed itself looks like this. If I hover over this icon here, when I do, there will be a little gray box appears here with the URL for the feed for my blog. In this case, it's feeds.feedburner.com front slash blog tactics. Uh, now, that's one way a feed can look. It can also, if I go to a different blog and hover over here, you'll see that one's different. That's seouk.com front slash feed front slash. That's typically what they look like unless people are using FeedBurner, uh, which is a quite popular feed system. So that's what the URL looks like. And basically, people can copy, right click and choose copy link to copy that feed. URL and pop it into a feed reader so they don't have to visit your site, they get a notification when you've posted something new and they can actually read it via that feed. Now obviously you can use it to do exactly the same thing. You can find authority blogs in your niche, whatever the niche may be, and then grab the RSS feed, just look for the icon, there'll usually be one on someone's blog, and grab their feed and put it into your RSS feed reader so you're notified whenever they make a new post. Now that means that you can then visit their blog and be one of the first to comment on their post. Now, I highly recommend that you take the time to read the post and make it a good, useful, interesting post because that way, not only are you getting a backlink from that blog comment on an authority blog in your own market, but also, if you have left a, a good comment, you can potentially leach some of their traffic from that blog to your blog because if you make a good comment, people are going to be interested in it and they may well then click on your link to come back and see what else you've written on your own blog. So you're using other authority sites in your market to get backlinks and potentially to get traffic as well, okay? There are a couple of other benefits that are worth mentioning. First of all, by staying in touch with those authority blogs in your market, you'll keep up to date with the news and that will actually give you great ideas for fresh content for your own site. Uh, secondly, by leaving good quality comments on authority blogs in your market, you'll raise your own, uh, your own profile, your own name, your own reputation within that niche because people reading those authority blogs will start to see your comments on several different authority blogs within your niche. So they'll start to recognize your name and your building reputation. So there's a lot of benefits from doing this, not just the backlinks and free traffic. Now let's have a look at how we actually get those notifications. Most people that read feeds, uh, they actually tend to use a browser-based feed reader. Now I don't like those because I'm usually doing something else with my browser, usually got several tabs or even several different browsers open. So I use a desktop-based feed reader that will actually pop up a little window to let me know when there's a new post from one of the feeds I'm following. Now the best thing about this is it's actually free. Uh, it's called Feed Notifier and the domain is feednotifier.com. So you can go to feednotifier.com and just download it. There's a download button here somewhere uh, ah, right at the top there. Okay, So you can download it. It is only Windows, I'm afraid. Um, there's probably something similar for Macs, uh, but I don't have a Mac, so I don't know. Um, but you just download that and install it on your desktop. Okay, once you've installed it, it just sits in the background running away. Now what I'm actually going to do is add a feed to it. So I'm going to go back to that SEO UK site and I'm going to right click on the RSS feed icon and choose copy link address. Now the system is actually running in your system tray, so I'm going to click on that and simply right click the feed notifier icon. Unfortunately, you can't see that on the video, but right click on it. There's several options that come up. One is add feed. So I'm going to choose that and it pops up with a little box where I can put in the feed. Now because I'd already copied that link, 
link and it's in the clipboard, it's picked that up automatically, so I've not even need to paste it in there. So then click on next and it will go and find that feed and it will pick up a name if there is one, it'll pick up the blog, the URL, it will give you a polling interval that is based on uh, a guesstimate that the software does based on how often posts seem to appear on that blog. But because we're going to be using this to try and make sure we're one of the very first to comment on a new post, you probably want to change it from, if it comes up with something like a day, change it to at most an hour. Uh, some blogs you might want to get it down to 10 or 15 minutes or half an hour, something like that. But I think this one I'll leave it as one hour, so you can change that to whatever you need to. And I'm also going to put in a name for this one, and then simply click on finish. And that's it. That's added a new feed, RSS feed, to the software. And the software will monitor that in the background and pop up with a, a notification to let us know when there's a new post. Okay, you can also change the feeds, delete feeds, change the settings, all those sort of things within the software as well. Again, if I go to the system tray and right click on uh, the feed notifier icon and choose preferences instead, it pops up with this box. Um, and here we can see all the different feeds that I'm following. Obviously, you can see I'm following quite a few um, and the intervals that it's checking for posts, etc. You can also go to the pop ups and change how often the pop ups come up, how, when they, how long they stay up for, sorry, um, where they appear, which monitor, the color, etc., all that sort of thing. The main point here really is to make sure it's going to pop up somewhere on screen that you're going to see it and notice it uh, and it's going to stay there long enough for you to be able to read it and click on it. Um, um, the weight if hovering is very useful to make sure the pop-up stays there if you're hovering over and reading it with the mouse. Um, I've got mine to set on infinite duration at the moment simply for this video so that I've got one so that I can show you. Okay, let's actually uh, close this down and I'll show you a pop-up so you can see what it looks like. Okay, I had to uh, stop the video there for a moment and change the bit of the screen that I'm recording uh, simply because the, this is the pop-up that appears and you can't actually ch move it around on the screen, okay? You decide where it's going to appear on the screen, left, right, top, bottom, etc. But you can't move it when it pops up, okay? So I just had to... Uh, move the uh, bit of the screen I'm recording. So basically what you get is the name of the blog that this has come from or the name that you've given to that feed, uh, the name of the post and a summary of it and if you clicked on this link it would actually take you through to that particular blog post on that blog. Okay, so that's how it works. It basically pops up with this that will stay there for whatever you set in the, the preferences. Um, and to go through to the blog post, you can just click on that link and it will take you in your default browser, whatever it may be, to whatever the post may be. Okay. Okay, so the next obvious question is how do you find the blogs, the good authority blogs in your market that you want to follow? Now, the simplest way is simply go to Google and search in Google for your keywords and have a look through the results and find the good quality blogs in there that are obviously authority sites because they're ranking in Google. Those are great places to get backlinks for your own site because they're in your niche. So you can do it that way. The other way of doing it is using something called Google Alerts. Now, I've actually done a video a while back on how to use Google Alerts. Um, if you go to a site called mat4.com and click on the link for videos, it will take you to this page. And at the moment, it's the second video using Google Alerts. Now, if I go across to that, uh, it's about five minutes long and it will show you how to set up Google Alerts, which will notify you via email of new content in Google that is related to your keywords. And you can set up a whole bunch of uh, Google Alerts for all sorts of different keywords. I think you can set up something like 100 Google Alerts. So a great way, again, to get ideas for new content, a great way to keep on top of what's going on in your market, but also a fantastic way to find these good blogs that Google is watching and be alerted of not only uh, what they are, where they are, but you can then go and grab their RSS feeds and be alerted whenever there's a new post. Now, the other thing you can do here is when you're setting up an alert, instead of choosing for email alerts, you can choose to have the alert via feed and then pop that into feed alert as well. So you'll get your uh, alerts, your Google alerts through your uh, RSS feed alert system as well. Now, as I say, Google alerts is a great way for whatever market you're in, you know, Koi Carp, Grown Bonsai, 
monster trucks, managing frizzy hair, whatever it may be, it will find you the content that you can use for ideas and it will find you authority blogs that you can then follow to make comments on and get backlinks from. Okay, so that's basically it. That's how you can use RSS feeds from blogs, uh, authority sites, to pop them into Feed Notifier and be alerted whenever someone makes a new post and be one of the early commenters on there to get not only the backlink, but also to try and leach some traffic off that post and start building your reputation in your niche. Um, it's a very, very simple method, but it is very, very effective. Uh, trust me, it's one of the best ways of actually getting good links and fresh content to your site, but it also has this advantage of building your reputation and giving you great ideas for content of your own and keeping you in touch with what's going on in your niche. Okay, so this video will be on blogtactics.com. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment below, and I hope you find the video useful. Thanks very much for watching.